Hello, good night, God bless you all. Hope you're all having an amazing day. This video will be different from the rest as you may be able to tell. I'm gonna title this video um praise a ton. Praise a ton. Yes. You heard me. So um I'm gonna try to make this video like as uncut as possible. Like I wanted to live stream but YouTube doesn't let me live stream. I tried but it didn't let me live stream for some reasons. It has some requirements that I can't withhold because I'm new to the YouTube and stuff like that. But yeah, praise a ton. So while I was praying, it was an amazing prayer. I was just I saw this one TikTok video about Jesus dying for us and it wrecked me. And after that I went to pray and I had a wonderful prayer. And I just wanted to pray so and I got the idea the idea to do this video because most of my videos I get the ideas from from a prayer. And like two of and like two of the ideas of the videos I got while pooping actually. But anyways Pray Satan. I just want to talk about just Jesus God. Just how Jesus, a sinless, perfect, loving man, the light of this world. Like, the light of this world. This world does not have any light but Jesus. The light of this world turned to darkness once he took our sins. Like, he took our sins we don't deserve anything like the bible says and shows a lot of evidence that we humans just deserve the wrath of god and hell really that's just what we deserve but god like just chases us just chases us after us in love like we run away from him yet he chases us and when we come back he opens his arm to us not like th not like the devil or the world the world will chase after you to deceive you and will quickly shut its arms and ignore you but not god just god will always be there god will always be forgiven god will always be loving that's God. And it's just amazing that he was the light of this world, yet he turned dark to darkness once he took our sins. But you know what's more amazing? That he came back after three days and became an even bigger light to this world. Like, I mean, he's he was already the biggest light this world had ever seen. But when he resurrected and ascended he became the biggest light ever and it was amazing it, it it's amazing like like oh god almighty just give me the words to express this as best as i can god because there are many situations where we will need god and God's always there for us. And really, all we have to do is not much when you look at it from a broader and wiser and godly perspective. Like faith, that's fundamental. But as we all know, and it says in the Bible, faith is dead without works. So you also do works, right? But then, part of this works is humbling and humiliating yourself. Casting out that pride, that mind of yours, that arrogance, those pleasures. Remember, faith is dead without works. And those are part of the works. If you don't do that, you're not showing faith. Like you say you love God, but... You then go back to the world. And I'm not saying we have to be perfect. Because we can't. 
we humans are simply not perfect. Like, we Christians, I, everybody, as a Christian, you will fall into sin still, but the important part is that as soon as you realize that, you repent, you rebuke those foolish thoughts and actions and emotions, and you repent and pray and worship to God. Praise a ton. Praise a ton to God. Simple as that. Like, you cannot love God without faith. And faith is dead without works. And the works just speak for themselves, really. There's humiliation, there's humbleness, there's caring, there's many works. There's discipline, there's following and obeying the commandments. That one is vital. You cannot be a Christian if you do not, do not obey the commandments that God put in this world. That God gave us. I mean, God is amazing, isn't he? Like, he gave us a guidebook to guide us. He gave us a rules to guide us. He gave us the ten commandments, and I know there's more minor ones, too. I haven't studied the Bible well enough to know all of them, sorry, but... God gave us the Ten Commandments to guide us, to lead us. Then God gave us the Bibles, which you will find the Ten Commandments. And many, many other things. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I want you to all to keep in mind that becoming Christian is not easy. The enemy will attack you. This just came to head. The enemy will attack you, but you always have to be prepared. You always have to put the armor of God, as it says in Ephesians, Ephesians 6, um, 10 through 18, I think it is. Uh, the armor of God. Maybe it's 9. But anyways... Put on the armor of God, and this ties back to the other thing, because you cannot put the armor of God, the full armor of God, without faith, as it says in Ephesians six six, uh, Ephesians six sixteen, to put on the shield of faith. Faith. Yes, you heard the thing that I spoke about earlier. Faith. Uh, faith is that. Without works, works of humiliating yourself, following the commandments, yes, yes, that. You can't just try to put on the whole armor and take the sword and just forget the shield. I mean, I, I know that a lot of modern shows nowadays will show an insanely talented person who just rushes in with the sword and no armor or no shield, but that's not how it is here. That's f fiction, and we're dealing with an enemy greater than ourselves. But guess what? He's not greater than our God. He's not greater than God. And that's amazing. Like, God will stand beside you. He'll always, always. He will always stand beside you. No matter what. Through the hard times, through the easy times, through the joy times, through the sad times. Always God, God will be there even when you're sinning and ignoring God. God will always try to reach out. You just have to put your part in and seek God. It's just amazing. Like, <laughs> it's true what I said earlier. And when you look that when you look at it through a godly perspective, through a a broader and wiser perspective, all we have to do to be in heaven is so many little things compared to eternity. So many little things compared to what Jesus went through for us. It's 
amazing like we just have to do so few little things yet people rejecting cause of what sex drugs video games anime like I know I can relate to some not all obviously I'm only 15 um anime dude I was addicted to anime I used to watch 30 something episodes a day and sometimes when I would get the reminder to read the bible I would get annoyed and I'm really ashamed to say that but I would I'd get annoyed because I want to stay watching anime and sometimes I just finish the episode and then watched and then watched I mean then read the bible and it hurt I mean like I felt guilt when I did that like I was so addicted to anime I barely spent any time with God video games I've always played video games I, I was never but I was never fully addicted to them but I would put it before God a lot and I know that and I don't deny that I'm sorry God but I get it's great man I mean so it's there's nothing wrong with having fun enjoying the game with the boys you know the boys <laughs> watching some anime it depends on what you watch you have to be careful with that you probably know what I mean anyways like I can't relate much to this because again I'm 15 but it's not bad to drink it's bad to get drunk and rely on alcohol before God you can probably drink a glass or two of wine I guess I don't know the alcohol percentage of that stuff so I can't say for sure but it's fine every now and then it's fine and sex sex it's mentioned in the Bible that it's a holy thing it's something that God really likes God really loves sex but I, that sounded wrong I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> that sounded wrong I'm sorry 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 God it says in the Bible that sex is a holy thing I'm just gonna keep it that because it sounded weird I'm so sorry God I'm so sorry everyone I'm so so sorry um sex is supposed to be a holy thing same with marriage marriage is supposed to be the uniting of two souls of two spirits of two people and sex is a way to further improve that bond that union of two of men and women and it's Perf and it's sex is supposed to be a perfect uh, like a holy thing in the Bible so waiting like people find it so weird and I don't get that like oh you're gonna wait for sex on after marriage like bro you're blame like huh like I'm gonna start ranting I'm gonna stop there but <laughs> Yeah, just don't put God over anything else. I mean, I've done that before. Everyone has at some point. When the Bible says idols, it doesn't just mean Justin Bieber. Oh, well. I don't want to mention people. That's bad. I'm sorry. I don't mean artists and actors. I get they're cool and all. I mean, like I see Dwayne Johnson in a movie or Chris Pratt in a movie. And I want to watch that movie because... I really like the actors in that movie, but I'm not gonna idolize them. But what th the word idol doesn't mean for a pop idol, it means whatever you put before God. If you put anime before God, you're idolizing anime. If you put food before uh, God, you're idoli idolizing food. If you put a girlfriend before God, you're idolizing your girlfriend. And idolizing is a sin it's one of the most important commandments it's does it say anything? i'm sorry i i sorry 
I'm 15. I'm still on the learning process. I mean, we all are. But anyways, idolizing is a grave sin. I would say probably comes second, the commandment after love your father and your father. Love your mother and your father as... No, 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 wait. You have to first love God. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a mess. Love God, then it's love your father, your mother, and all those people as you love yourself. Then I would say the uh, false idols is the third most important commandment. Don't don't quote me on this. I really need to study the Bible more, and I am, and I will. As long as we're still alive and God allows it, I will. And I'm enjoying doing that, by the way. Anyways. So, yeah, just... It's... It's just it's just a thing. <laughs> um, I kind of straight off the praise thing. I started lecturing. I'm sorry, God. Like, okay, before I head on to praising again. I, I'm, I don't want to come off as judgmental, because I don't. Have a, I admit that I've committed sexual sin, lustful thoughts, I've put other things before God, I've thought bad things, I've cursed bad, uh, I've cursed, have I cursed people? I think I have. Anyways, I've just sinned in general. I'm not trying to be, I'm try not trying to judge, I'm just trying to get you closer to God. Because thinking about it, I saw a tweet of this uh, of this Christian woman. Oh, I forgot her name. Ali, I think her name is. I don't know her. I um, don't know her last name. Ali. Uh, she's the wife of a pastor. Uh, Andrew Carter. I'm pretty sure some of you know. I saw a tweet of her that the the that the terrifying thing about hell is that you're separated from God. I mean, the, the burning, the heat of hell, and the physical torture of hell is bad enough, but the worst thing about hell is definitely being an eternal separation from God. I do not want that, and I don't want that for y'all so yeah I just I don't want to seem as judgmental because I don't I yeah I'm just, yeah anyways praise a ton <laughs> just God is almighty and God is perfect he's lord of lord king of kings he's perfect he's just beyond words like I, j I got something in my mind. Oh, thank you, God. Anyways. Like, I love this. I love this. This is a personal feeling. A uh, praise of God. To God. <laughs> of God. What? I appreciate it. Anyways. I just love how unthinkable he is. Like, my myself, I sometimes want to just be able to compre comprehend everything. I want to be able to know the whole plan of God. I want to be able to know every aspect of his love. But I truly don't want that. Like my spirit don't want that. And I listen to my spirit first as should you all. Because I know that God uses the mind, uses the heart. Mostly the mind. Anyways. But God will always first use the spirit at least. I believe that and I'm pretty sure it says it on the Bible. Again, I need to study the Bible more. No, I'm not trying to put an excuse. Anyways. Um God, I personally think that God will always talk to you first via the spirit that he placed inside you. The Holy Spirit will talk to you. He'll talk to the spirit inside you, the Holy Spirit. It's I think I'm confusing myself, okay? Anyways, I always think that, and I always try to listen to the spirit first, and my spirit does not want to comprehend God's love, my spirit does not want to know everything of God's plan, because first of all, if we knew everything 
we could not handle it because just God's that awesome. And for second of all, I am. If God needs to keep something a secret, I trust Him. I love Him and trust Him. Simple as that. If there's something that only He should know, then He should know. I'm not mad about that. I have no reason to be mad about that. Nobody does. It's fine. I mean, He already gives us more than enough. I mean, more, more than enough. Like, absolutely more than enough. So him keeping things to himself is perfectly fine. I mean, we all do after all. We're all selfish like that after all. But it's fine. Because after all, God is all-knowing. Not we. Not Google. I mean, Google ain't all-knowing. It's just... It's just you, what do you think you are, Google? Bruh? <laughs> Kidding. Anyways. <laughs> God is all-knowing. Not us. Not the world. Not the devil. Like, the devil may know stuff, but he's not all-knowing. He wishes he could know everything, that's for sure. But he's not. God is. God knows everything. And God is perfect. I just want to praise what he's created. Cause, oh, my God. Um, God has created so many perfect things. Like, you look at nature and it's perfect. How you look at the galaxy and the stars, it's perfect. Like any little bit wrong with the placement of the sun and the planets and the moons and satellites and all that. And I'm pretty sure satellites are... Anyways. Anything. Just a tiny, the tiniest atom out of place. And it would be catastrophic. But God just put it there. Perfect. God created gravity and we're held down. It's done, right? I don't know my science. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> ah, online school made me dumb. Anyways. Sorry, God. He, like, he had created gravity. He created the Earth. I mean, the Earth is so complex in itself. Like all the other planets are and stuff like that. But the Earth is just... <laughs> complexity after complexity. I mean... Earth, the ad is, ad, uh, atmosphere, the stratosphere, the... I don't remember the names. Meh. Yeah, all of that. Uh, the just stuff. science stuff that I forgot. Yep. That. Yeah, dude. I... I get straight A's. How do I not remember this? Anyways. Like, everything is perfect. There's the layers of the earth. There's the nuclear. There's the center, the core of the earth. There's the other things that I only know the names of in Spanish. There's the nucleo, the planeta. There's el manto y la corteza and all that stuff. I only know the names in Spanish because I do not take classes in English. I know English from. I did not. Learn, I did not learn English. Like fun fact about me, I did not. Like I guess school helped, but not much. I learned English. Well, obviously, thanks to God. Like thank you, God. I love English. But anyways, I learned English from just watching YouTube videos and TV shows. That's how I learned English mostly. School helped, which is a tiny bit. I mean, it helped with the rules, obviously, cause not. I didn't sit there on YouTube and just... Anyways. Here, talk about God, not me. Keys. Anyways. Just God created such a perfect thing. Like, I mean... The Earth is so complex. All the other planets are complex. I just don't know about them. But everything is just so perfect and in place. It's wonderful. And it also just it, it makes you think how wonderful heaven is. I mean, we should all know that heaven is beyond words compared to the prettiest thing on this earth. Like you could put the best things on this entire universe, and it would not compare anything to heaven. 
like the words on Revelation, Revelation, Revelation 20, Revelation 21, I think, both of those, I think. I'm sorry, my memory's bad. I studied Revelation, I just, my memory's horrible. Holy Spirit, help me remember. Um, like it goes into detail about heaven and the new earth, but that's not even enough to describe how beautiful it is. Like I trust that I'll be waiting y'all for y'all in heaven. I trust. I really do trust. So I would love to be in heaven with y'all. Why am I saying y'all? Anyways. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's unfathomable. 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 Unfa whatever. It's just amazing. And then on the other side, it's hell. And we all know what hell is, don't we? We do, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways. I rebuke the enemy. Anyways. <laughs> it's just amazing. Like, I came in here today. Like, I was gonna plan this stuff. I was gonna make it into just a long video. I was gonna look up Bible verses. I was gonna do the usual stuff I do for my videos. I look up Bible verses. I get the message that God wants me to do while I'm praying usually. I look up uh, Bible verses to support it because if not, it's not good because, I mean, God did give it to me, but if the Bible doesn't support it, then did God really give it to me? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I can't overcomplicate everything, but I just felt like it wasn't like that this time i just i wanted to go stream but again as i said in the beginning of the video youtube has some requirements for streaming that i do not meet because i'm new to youtube it has some requirements that require the youtube channel to be a certain amount age and i'm pretty sure it hasn't reached that it was a month and a half and i don't think this month the channel has been created for over a month and a half, I don't think. I don't know. But anyways... Yeah. Since I couldn't live stream, I decided to do a long video as uncut as possible. I'll edit it a bit, I'll try to increase the volume. Because if I keep it like this, you probably will not hear me as well. Since I'm not shouting at the top of my lungs. Try to make it look a bit nicer. I probably won't change much at all. Probably just change the audio and just that's it. <laughs> I won't try to put any funny comments on it like I usually do. Yes, yes, yes. I know you all enjoy that. <laughs> Anyways, it just felt like that's what I should do. And I know that I haven't really quoted too many scriptures. Actually, I have. I just realized that I have. I quoted Ephesians. Ephesians is the only one that I truly quoted. I referenced stuff from the Bible, but I didn't quote it because I cannot remember the Bible verses. That's a problem with me. I cannot remember anything. But <laughs> I just trust that you'll trust me. <laughs> that sounded weird. Cringe. Sorry, God. Anyways, I just trust and love you all. Like, I really hope and trust to see you all in heaven. Sadly, that won't be the case for most, because as it says in the Bible, a good majority of people will not go into heaven. Sadly. But, I hope and trust to see you all in heaven in there with God besides God a relationship with him that's so amazing that's so amazing God you're so amazing anyways 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 God you are just amazing like God in this moment I know you're hearing me looking up on the roof of my house right now my gaze is onto the heavens even though there's a roof covering me my gaze is up to the heavens, God. To heaven, to the heavens. 
Is that correct English? Yeah, I think it is. I just love you, God. Just want you to know that, and I know you love me back. <laughs> so much more. That we don't deserve. Just thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice that we do not deserve. Once the light, then to darkness, then to an even bigger light. That's you are, Jesus. That's you, we are, God Almighty. It's just amazing. Just amazing. I can't begin to describe. No one can. Like, if you see a people that, if you see a person that is like, oh, I know, I know how to describe God. That's not true. I've never seen one like that, thank God, but I'm, I imagine there is people like that. There are people arrogant enough and foolish enough to do so. Yes, I said foolish and what? Anyways. <laughs> God, you're amazing. I just want to be with you. I just want to hug you. You know, I don't think I can. Definitely, I'm not worthy of touching you. Not even worthy of seeing you. None of us are. I don't touch you. What am I thinking? Anyways. I just feel your the warmth of your love. The warmth of a hug upon me. God, I just feel amazing. I love how I was meant to sleep after I went to pray. That I'm doing this. Thank you, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, just amazing. Just amazing. I cannot deny that. To all my fellow... Like, I say not fellow. Man, I'm about to. Anyways, to all... Pastors and preachers and evangelists. Just... I just want to thank you for the teachers. Yeah, I said that. Uh, prophets. Just want to thank you for the great job you've done. Now, false teachers. Yes, I see you, false teachers there. Holy Spirit, help me so that I don't teach false thing, false <laughs> false things. Thank you, God. Anyways, just you're doing a great job. Everybody is like, you don't have to be a pastor to to be to do something great a part of god's plan and god's will because always remember you don't have to be a pastor god will give you a calling that will maybe be in a hospital god will tell you to preach to your patients as they recover maybe god will call you to be a mechanic and god will tell you to teach the word of God while you're up there with your buddies fixing up a car or something. <laughs> Maybe God will call you to be a lawyer. That's hard indeed because the law system in this world isn't really just. Only God is just. But If God would, were to call you to be a lawyer then that would mean that he's trying to change the people's perspective of this world's justice and help them to see that you God you God Almighty Father and Heaven Perfect and Holy Trinity are true justice are the only truth God you're just perfect God will call you to many things it's different for everybody I have not found me ex my exact calling I know and I think I leave it to God. I, I don't know exactly, but I think it has to do with what I'm doing with the videos and me studying the Bible. I think it has something to do with that, but I leave it to God. Just always remember, guys, when you're trying for something, don't just ask God and just go right to back, right back to what you were doing, or just don't pray and. And leave that to God and just do nothing. Because I guess there are situations where like, God will lead you to just stand there firm. And 
he will get you through it. There are times like that, I'm not denying it, but there's a lot of times where God wants you just to to cast it all to him and then move forward to put apart whether that's directly by sharing the gospel, having faith, faith the faith will always be present. But after faith the best you can do to praise God to find your calling to be more like him is to live a life like Jesus and spread the gospel after faith I said don't forget that I said faith I know you you're trying to ignore faith aren't you and I see you anyways <laughs> sorry anyways just don't forget that I'm talking to myself by the way too like this whole thing I'm talking to myself too like I'm a very forgetful person I sometimes want to get the easy way out because I'm also a very lazy person. I rebuke all the evil spirit of laziness on anybody watching this and on myself and my family and anyway and everyone. But yeah, I'm a very shy person too. But don't let that pull you back, cause if you're ashamed of spreading the word to your friends. Then God will reject you in heaven. There's a verse about that. I cannot remember. I think it's in Matthew. Matthew, is it Matthew? Is it Matthew? Is it Matthew? I don't know. I don't know. And I can't look it up right now for reasons. Because the recording will stop. And I don't want it to stop. But yeah. Stuff. Anyways. <sighs> Just amazing. Just amazing. Just God's amazing. Just Amazing. What's that? Amazing. Flipping amazing. You know, I'm clapping. Didn't clap too loud. I should have clapped louder. Again, I'm shy. Fudging. Everybody's awake. Anyways, I'm sorry. Just, God's amazing. Always keep that in mind. Um, before I end this... I just want to keep you in mind, if you had problems hearing me, I am sorry. I probably won't sound as loud as some of the other videos. As a, For the other videos, I just use the speaker on the phone. I just talk. No headset, no nothing. It's how I'm using the iPhone earphones you get naturally. Which actually sound lower than when I raise my voice. Which is interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. But anyways, guys, I, I know that God will make it so that you'll hear it. Yes, 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 yes. I'll also increase the volume. Because I always do anyways. Anyways. So yeah, guys, I just praise a ton. That, that was the purpose of this video. I know I went, of course, and I started lecturing to myself and to everybody who's listening to this. But yeah, just amazing. <sighs> oh, 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 yes, I just blew into the mic. Oh god. Anyways, sorry, God. Just praise a ton. <laughs> Always remember to praise a ton, to worship a ton, to just live like Jesus a ton. To have faith a ton. Before I leave too. Um, always. I want you all to pray. Like if you already. If you don't have a spiritual gift. You haven't found it yet. You haven't found your calling. I want you to always pray to the Holy Spirit. To give you wisdom. And then. To help you to get closer to. Your spiritual gifts. There are many. Sometimes people have different. Spiritual gifts. Some have faith. Some have serving. Some have giving. Some have preaching. Some have teaching. Some have wisdom. Etc. There's many. But through those spiritual gifts. You'll most definitely find your calling. From God. Like what God wants you to do. 
Always remember to do what God wants you to do. Never try to... I get you have dreams. I get... You know. But if those dreams aren't a part of God, just... Set them aside as best you can. Because sometimes... It works out for the better. Because either God will find something better. Or God will... At some point... Lead you to that dream you once had, but in an even better way, so... Just don't ignore God. Don't. Every Christian, at some point, maybe still does somehow, has ignored God, has put something before God. Everybody, I know, and it's true. Drugs, sex, games, anime, videos food whatever it is they put it before God at some point I did too I did too thank you God I don't deserve you at all I want to end with a prayer that will have to come out the top of my head because I am bad with prayers like this God Almighty, I pray in this mighty moment that you help and blends and cleanse the person on the other side of the screen. So it's myself. But anyways, I hope you ble I, I trust and I know that you'll bless this person. I know that as long as part of your plan and your will, this person will have a blessing day. I know that you will help this person. And if this person is going through a trial, that you will help and guide that person throughout it. That you will teach him from it. That you will help him. Just help him, God. I trust in you, Lord. Always. Just. I praise to you for always, God. To the end of days, God. And even after in eternity, I will, God. I will, God. Anyways, God. I love you. We all do. And I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Amen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely different from the rest. It's going to be a lot longer than the rest. I hope you guys are still listening to me after this. I hope you didn't cut through the episode. Because you cannot cut through this episode. Huh? Anyways. Do this video. Just. Great. And if you don't like me, just please don't say anything mean. Just listen to another. There are many great other pastors. I, mean, I mentioned one of them in this video. I mentioned Andrew Carter in this video. There's Stephen E. F There's Stephen Furtnick too. There's many other great people. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do something like this again in the future, but that's just if God wants me. Yeah, guys, remember this will be mostly unedited, so if it seems a bit rough in some places, that's why. But I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you take this a bit more as a streamish. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you this message. I hope God touch you through this message. I hope God did. Because God is the one who does everything. Not pastors, not teachers. I mean, they help. But God's the one who does it. God's the one who does it. So anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an amazing night, day, afternoon. Wherever you are. Whatever time it is you're watching this. Or where you live. See you guys in the next one. God bless. Amen and bye.